In the last section, we learned how to modify some existing animations. And what we're gonna do now is make our own animations from scratch. So you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to maps and we're gonna be in example three again. So if you still have that open, awesome. If you haven't, go ahead and double click on that to open it up. And we're gonna go back to content sequences and we're gonna make another level sequence by right clicking, going to animation, level sequence, and I'm just gonna call this custom animation. But if you know what animation you wanna make, go ahead and name it that animation, and then double click on that so it opens up our sequencer. So we're gonna click on bit and drag bit here. And this time we're not going to add an animation track, we're gonna go ahead and just add that rig. So next to SK bit, we're gonna hit track, go to control rig and do FK control rig. And you can see we have all of our joints and bones that popped up. So in animation, we kind of talked about how there's keys and there's a timeline. As an animator, they often think about what's happening on each frame, but that can be really overwhelming to think about it on every single frame because there's 30 frames a second. So you can see here in our sequencer, it says 30 FPS, which means there's 30 frames every second. So what we're gonna do is instead of thinking about every single frame because a second is so fast, we're gonna first start off kind of with some big action poses. So we can just think about the character over five seconds, what do we want them to do? And then we go in and fill in the smaller details. And what a lot of animators often do is they actually film themselves uh, doing the action that they want so they can kind of see all the different parts that are moving. So that's a fun way to animate as well. So we have bit here and we've added our rig and I'm gonna hit this drop down. And this time we don't have anything to, as a starting point. So we're just gonna go in and kind of start exploring and see what the character can do and what we wanna have them do as their animation. Um, so let's do, let's go to her head and I'll just do maybe like a wave to start with, just something simple um, to get comfortable. So with a wave, I kind of, you know, if we wave, your head usually kind of sometimes bobs, at least mine does. Um, so let's go ahead and rotate her head. I'm gonna add a key. I'm gonna move this forward a bit and then move it back this way. We have a little head bob. Now let's go pose out the hand for the wave. So again, I'm gonna click on the shoulder, um, so upper arm, and let's see if I can rotate this a bit. Okay, so I like that, and let's go up, and let's start at that pose. So I'm just gonna do like the big poses, kind of this hand up, the hand down, and then kind of fill in the pieces that I need. So let's go. And let's see, where was that key that I put for her head? Okay, so here, 16. And then let's move the arm back down. You can see it's super simple. So let's press play and you can see. So we definitely need to add some more motion. So let's rotate the arm back up. I'm gonna just do a couple key frames so you can just see it kind of as like a big wave back and forth. There you go. Awesome, and then let's do the head. So the head goes that way, that way. We need it to go back this way. We need to get a little closer. Where's my head? There's my head. And let's go back this way. Add another key and add another key. And let's go give Bit a smile. So I'm gonna scroll down to the blend shapes and go to mouth, smile, left and right. And I'll just have her smiling the whole time. So let's add a key for both of those. And you can see, you can kind of start then adding all your big motions. Let's put this arm down. Let's add a key there. And 
I'm mostly rotating all the different bones because usually that's also like what our body does is we can just rotate at the different joints. Um, but if you want to get really fun um, and start moving some things around, you can definitely do that. So let me show you. Um, if you want to play with location or you can click um, this translate button and you can move um, things kind of up and down. So let's go to her head and you can see uh, we can make her head really long, uh, which is kind of funny. Like maybe that's she has like some super extendable abilities. Um, so let's set that there and then maybe her head goes up like that and then it comes back down. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Um, so don't be afraid to kind of explore and see what these do, um, all the different joints. Um, and let's see, her spine, we can also make her, you know, super tall as well. That could kind of be funny. Um, so let's do, let's give it a little rotation. Let's do that. Go over here. Rotate this way and then rotate back. Add, all right, let's see what this <laughs> is. kind of like she's like doing the worm or something. Um, so go ahead and have fun with that. And once you're happy with your custom animation, um, again, don't forget to save. And then we're gonna right click on SK bit and we're gonna do bake animation sequence and we're gonna save this in our animation library under bit, and I'm gonna call this bit worm. You go ahead and hit okay. Export to animation sequence. If we go to the content browser, go to content, animation library, bit animations, we should have our bit worm happen in here. <laughs> So in this section, we went a little further and actually made our own custom animations and saved those out. So hopefully you can make some fun ones and we're gonna actually start bringing these all together in some shots and really start telling our stories in the next section. <laughs>